Okay, guys, Earthmaster here on the live stream. Uh, it is October 28th, 2021, about 12.30 p.m. California time, and just doing an update video on a pretty good-sized solar flare that kicked up on the sun a few hours ago. Uh, looks like about four, about four hours ago, a major solar flare measuring X 1.0 uh, kicked off from sunspot 2887. Uh, this sunspot is directly facing the Earth, so we're getting a pretty good blow from this X flare. It did kick off a pretty good sized CME. Uh, it would almost certainly, according to this guy, or according to SolarHam, it would almost certainly be directed towards our planet. Go ahead and check out a little bit of more information on it. Uh, let's see, should be, uh, what do we got? An impact past our planet should be expected this weekend. It will be good news for Aurora Skywatchers. Uh, let's see, I want to show you guys the uh, sunspot. 2886 is the sunspot, or 2887, sorry, uh, is the sunspot, and that's going to be this one. On the Earth facing side, pretty good size sunspot. You can see this one right here, 2887. Pretty massive and this was directly facing Earth uh, the Earth side of the Sun there's a couple other active regions to the east and the west and one coming up around the bend that looks like it could be a good potential for some solar flaring as well but 2887 is this massive sunspot that's capable of producing uh, no doubt some heightened solar flares uh, almost a hundred percent certainty of a C flare at least M flare is pretty significant as well. I haven't seen these type of numbers in quite a while. Uh, X flare, 25%. Uh, so even a chance of another X flare potentially stronger. So we will be watching this uh, pretty closely. There was some radio blackouts uh, from the X flare that kicked off earlier this morning. Things are kind of subsiding from that, as you can see on the map. But uh, it was definitely directed. Uh, uh, here on Earth, and that uh, was pretty significant uh, radio blackout there for a little bit. Uh, let's see what else these guys are stating. It's pretty neat, though. I mean, I, I love to see the sun alive. You know, it's not gonna, it's not gonna cook us, and it's not gonna take down our communication system or electronics. Uh, it would take something much, much more significant. But it is nonetheless um, a little bit of heightened sunspot uh, flaring activity that's being observed here. Let's check out another image of the sun on the HMI intensity map um, graph here. You can see 2887 once again, pretty significant. And of course, it looks like it's the most um, active region on the facing on the Earth side of the sun right now. And uh, with the intensity of produ producing another X flare, uh, very possible. That's pretty awesome. Uh, let's see what we got far as uh, the spaceweather.com site. Uh, these guys, of course, still stating the same thing, X1. Um, they actually got uh, a little imager of the mass halo CME that was kicked off. You can see that blast uh, kicking right towards the Earth. It may be facing a little bit towards the south, but uh, we'll definitely get a significant blow uh, from this CME. A lot of charged particles high density and uh, some fast speed there headed towards Earth. Uh, let's see, probably on October 30th or 31st, right around Halloween, the CME will arrive. Of course, um, charged particles reach Earth within a matter of seconds when it comes to producing the flare. Uh, energetic particles accelerated at the leading edge of a CME have already reached Earth. That was earlier, but the whole mass CME will arrive looks like the 30th or the 31st there is the UV radiation um, or the uh, the blackout there on the map you can see centered pretty much over the South America region that's pretty significant um, radio blackout uh, see here it mentions a uh, pulse of x-rays and extreme UV radiation ionize the top of Earth's atmosphere causing a strong shortwave radio blackout centered on South America. A lot of times when we see stuff like this, um, uh, we do see seismic increase in earthquake activity when it comes to the, um, the radio blackouts and just the overall effect on the Earth from, from a, uh, a pretty significant flare. 
So we'll keep an eye on the South America region and see how true, or at least what it does to the South America region far as the plate tectonics go. And just I've seen it happen a few times in the past. It doesn't happen all the time, but it's kind of cool to watch to see if we get any heightened earthquake activity in this region. Right now, 5.1 in Alaska, the latest quake. South America looking awfully quiet for now. Only a little earthquake into the Peru-Chile Trench, 4.1 near the Argentina region, but uh, something to watch pretty closely. Uh, here they state uh, 2887 may not be finished yet. Uh, it did produce two prior M flares and an X flare, of course, today. The active region is directly facing Earth, so any additional eruptions should be geo-effective. No doubt they will be. So uh, we'll, they'll probably update the uh, CME or the uh, Aurora forecast uh, pretty soon at a later date. Right now the uh, forecast looking pretty quiet over the next couple days as far as uh, geomagnetic uh, storming. The auroras all in the green but uh, I'm sure that will change beginning on the 30th and uh, lasting into the 31st. So anyway what do we got going on here folks? Uh, you know a little bit of uh, earthquake activity throughout the day today. Nothing significant at the moment. It is a uh, uh, Thursday, we got the one more day prior to Friday, just kind of watching things closely out here. West Coast, seeing some activity also around the Cascadia subduction zone, just to the west of the Cascadia subduction zone here, the mega thrust area, uh, where it begins to subduct. We had a earthquake out around the Gorda uh, ridges, just southeast of there on the Gorda plate, 2.6, 10 kilometers. As far as any earthquake activity in the microquake range, looks pretty, well, I can't say it's super active. It looks like a typical day in California along the west coast. No major swarming, no very, uh, no unusual earthquake activity to monitor at the moment. It's all kind of looking very typical. Um, even up into the Pacific Northwest, Intermountain West regions, all seeing uh, some normal earthquake activity. Texas, and uh, even had a little earthquake out here around the South Carolina region, 1.7. So kind of watching things, folks. We'll see how it plays out today with the uh, with the uh, the X flare kind of kicking off here a few hours ago. I strongly believe solar weather plays a major part. Basically, what's going on in the sun plays a major part with the activity here on Earth. Not not only in the terms of uh, meteorology, you know, like uh, weather, but also plate dynamics, uh, the plate tectonic movement, the uh, activity of what's going on in the earth under the surface um, all has to do with activity on the sun i'm a firm believer on that so we'll see how today plays out folks we will chat you guys a little bit later just wanted to do a quick update on the x flare kicking off earlier today and uh we'll, we'll see uh how that affects the earth have a good day folks we'll chat you guys a little bit later in a complete update video for now enjoy your thursday and uh, take care